you would ramp the blower in concert with the compressor RPM. Well, that's exactly what our machine and ours is superior. Trust me, at zoning. I'm not arguing trust, that. Trust me, I believe that. You know, our machine is superior, but our outdoor unit actually tells the indoor unit what to do. That's that's the, you mm-hmm. know, the blower speed is controlled. Now, we're reading several different factors every four seconds. You know, there's input to the controls every four seconds. And, you know, indoor temp, outdoor temp, humidity, indoor humidity, um, the demand, if you want to call it that, the load value. You know, if you walk in and drop the temperature down 10 degrees, obviously it says, hey, we're behind. You know, let's crank up and the compressor cranks up and the blower follows. Now, depending on the indoor humidity condition, it may or may not follow real fast or real slow or so, you know, it, whatever's going to be optimal for everything. Um, and anticipation also comes into that. Like the design of our system, I say our, you know, I'm just a trained guy. See, got it on my shirt. Wait a minute. Do you? There oh, it yeah. Is. yeah. All right. There it is. Seems legit. Yeah, you got the shirt. But, uh, you know, I say our, but, you know, the design of the system is really not to turn off and satisfy. It's to get close and just hover very low and very long and quiet cycle. Mm -hmm. And and that lends to some really good dehumidification and some comfort and quiet operation and also lends very well to operating cost part of efficiency. Now, to me, part of the efficiency is the dependability and how long it lasts, you know, I mean, I don't care if your car gets 100 miles to the gallon. If it only runs for a week at a time, it's not very efficient. So, you know, the the cost up front to buy it has to be part of the efficiency, in my opinion, not just the run time, you know, not just the run time. But that's the overall design, hence the why it's so terrible to have this discharge air temperature sensor just on and off your compressor to death. Half of your system really is ready to be zoned. Oh, um, I, I think you're right. I mean, what I've done is I've made do with what is there, and it's yeah. sufficient. But that's that sufficiency isn't optimal. Obviously, it can go up a little bit. And variable speed, you know, you said something like, and in the, in the chat was saying something about variable speed blowers matching with the compressor RPM. And to me, that's good. But another thing would be that the intelligence of the unit can say, all right, we can match up or we can vary that blower speed slightly lower or higher compared to the compressor RPM if we need to tweak dehumidification, stuff like that, which I think is very yeah. smart. But and the load Bosch value. Do that. Absolutely. Load value and demand. And, you know, it's like, hey, I'd love to I'd love to dehumidify some a little more efficiently right now, but actually we're way behind in temperature. So let's put a bunch of volume through this place and, and let's catch up some temperature and we'll we'll deal with the humidity some while we're doing that, but we'll really seriously dehumidify when we ramp down and start to hover. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.